I took some raisins, currants you could use. You could use other dry fruits like cranberries, blueberries. There's a lot of dry fruits out there right now, apricots. I took yellow raisins and regular raisins, and I took some awesome armagnac. Okay, armagnac is really, really great with dry fruits. And um, this is really from the Bass region, the real stuff. You could use regular brandy, but it's very expensive, so we want to utilize this. It's not something that we want to, like, marinate something in and then... Psh. So what I did is I heated some up just until it was going to, you know, it got warm. Then I added the raisins in there so they could sit in there, turn the heat down so they can plump up a little bit, okay? That's important. So that's what's happening there. Then I took some little bit of, like, a half of one of those goat cheese logs... And I'm just going to mash it up. And then what I'm going to add to the goat cheese is a little honey and also the zest of a lemon. A little, little bit of sugar. Just a little bit to sweeten it. We're going to mix that in there. And this is going to become a filling. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to strain the raisins, but I want to keep that Armagnac mixture, okay? Once it strains real good, we're going to add the raisins in here. Talk about tasty. I could eat that just like that. This bowl, a spoon, I'm happy. <laughs> now, we've got this goat cheese raisin filling. All right, look. What you want to do is take a melon ball or, or a apple corer and begin to stop coring out the center of the apple. So you don't worry about how straight it's going to be. It's going to all work out. The reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to go all the way through. I want to have the bottom of this a little bit so that it has some structure. Okay? See? Then what we're going to do is this. You take the apple and you start filling them up in that little cavity like this. Okay? You with me? Then what we're going to do is we're going to put them inside of a pan like that. Let me show you one more. I'm going to take that goat cheese that's been sweetened with that honey, the raisins, see? It's like hide the goat cheese. Okay? Then, here's what we do, folks. Take a peeler... Peel a little bit of the top off, so that way it not only looks good, but it's going to cook, get golden brown. Now, the juice that we use for this, okay, the juice that we use for this, we take a little bit of that armagnac that we had left, and we take, this is the armagnac mix, we take a little bit of that hard, hard cider or apple cider, a little bit of sugar, and what you do is you bake them inside of the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour until they get tender, okay? What am I doing? Then what happens is this. This is what they look like. See that? Fantastic. I take, I take a little bit of the... I take one apple. I take a little bit of mascarpone cheese. I take a little bit of apple, uh, crushed walnuts, okay? And I take a little bam, 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 bam! And a little mint like that, and there you have it. <laughs>